The region of Syria Arabic, El Sha'am translate. Ash Sham, hieroglyphic Luwian, Surah, I, Greek, Syria in modern literature called Greater Syria, Syria Palestine, or the Levant is an area located east of the Mediterranean Sea. Throughout history, the region has been controlled by numerous different peoples, including ancient Egyptians, Canaanites, Assyria, Babylonia, the Achaemenid Empire, the ancient Greeks, the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, the Umayyad Caliphate, the Abbasid Caliphate, the Fatimid Caliphate, the Crusaders, the Ayyubid dynasty, the Mamluk Sultanate, the Ottoman Empire, the United Kingdom and the French Third Republic. Geography. <laughs> In the most common historical sense, Syria refers to the entire northern Levant, including Alexandretta and the ancient city of Antioch or in an extended sense the entire Levant as far south as Roman Egypt, but not including Mesopotamia. The area of Greater Syria Arabic, su t al kubi re translate. Syria al kubra also, natural Syria, Arabic, su t al tabai yati translate. Syria at tabaya or Northern country, Arabic, Bilad al Sha'am translate. Balad ash Sham extends roughly over the medieval Arab caliphate province of Balad al Sham, encompassing the eastern Mediterranean or the Levant, and western Mesopotamia. The Arab conquest of the Levant in the 7th century gave rise to this province, which encompassed much of the region of Syria, and became largely overlapping with this concept. Other sources indicate that the term Greater Syria was coined during Ottoman rule, after 1516, to designate the approximate area included in present day Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Palestine. The uncertainty in the definition of the extent of Syria is aggravated with the etymological confusion of the similar sounding names Syria and Assyria. The question of the ultimate etymological identity of the two names remains open today, but regardless of etymology, the two names have often been taken as exchangeable or synonymous from the time of Herodotus. In the Roman Empire Syria and Assyria already referred to two separate entities, Roman Syria and Roman Assyria. Killebrew and Steiner, treating the Levant as the Syrian region, gave the boundaries of the region as such, the Mediterranean Sea to the west, the Arabian Desert and Mesopotamia to the east, and the Taurus Mountains of Anatolia to the north. For Pliny the Elder and Pomponius Mela, Syria covered the entire Fertile Crescent. In late antiquity, Syria meant a region located to the east of the Mediterranean Sea, west of the Euphrates River, north of the Arabian Desert and south of the Taurus Mountains, thereby including modern Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Israel, the state of Palestine, and parts of southern Turkey, namely the Hatay province and the western half of the southeastern Anatolia region. This late definition is equivalent to the region known in classical Arabic by the name Ash Sham Arabic, al -am, which means the north country from the root some Arabic. Shah left, north. After the Islamic conquest of Byzantine Syria in the 7th century, the name Syria fell out of primary use in the region itself, being superseded by the Arabic equivalent Sham, but survived in its original sense in Byzantine and Western European usage, and in Syriac Christian literature. In the 19th century the name Syria was revived in its modern Arabic form to denote the whole of Balad al-Sham, either as Syria or the modern form Syria, which eventually replaced the Arabic name of Balad al-Sham. After World War I, the name Syria was applied to the French mandate for Syria and the Lebanon, and the contemporaneous but short-lived Arab Kingdom of Syria. In Pan-Syrian nationalism The boundaries of the region have changed throughout history, and were last defined in modern times by the proclamation of the short-lived Arab Kingdom of Syria and subsequent definition by French and British Mandatory Agreement. The area was passed to French and British mandates following World War I and divided into Greater Lebanon, various Syrian Mandate states, Mandatory Palestine and the Emirate of Transjordan. The Syrian Mandate states were gradually unified as the state of Syria and finally became the independent Syria in 1946. Throughout this period, pan-Syrian nationalists advocated for the creation of a greater Syria. Anton Sada and his party, the Syrian Socialist Nationalist Party, envisioned Greater Syria or Natural Syria as encompassing the Sinai Peninsula, Cyprus, modern Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, the Avaz region of Iran, and the Kilikian region of Turkey. 
Etymology Syria The oldest attestation of the name Syria is from the 8th century BC in a bilingual inscription in hieroglyphic Luwian and Phoenician. In this inscription the Luwian word Sura, I was translated to Phoenician senior, Assyria. For Herodotus in the 5th century BC, Syria extended as far north as the Hales the modern River and as far south as Arabia and Egypt. The name Syria derives from the ancient Greek name for Syrians, Greek, Syrioi Syrioi, which the Greeks applied without distinction to various Near Eastern peoples living under the rule of Assyria. Modern scholarship confirms the Greek word traces back to the cognate Greek, Assyria Assyria, ultimately derived from the Akkadian ashore. The classical Arabic pronunciation of Syria is Syria as opposed to the modern standard Arabic pronunciation Syria. That name was not widely used among Muslims before about 1870, but it had been used by Christians earlier. According to the Syriac Orthodox Church, Syrian meant Christian in early Christianity. In English, Syrian historically meant a Syrian Christian such as Ephraim the Syrian. Following the declaration of Syria in 1936, the term Syrian became to designate citizens of that state, regardless of ethnicity. The adjective Syriac. Syriani Arabic, Shriani has come into common use since as an ethnonym to avoid the ambiguity of Syrian. Currently, the Arabic term Syria refers to the modern state of Syria, as opposed to the historical region of Syria, but that distinction was not as clear until the mid-20th century. <laughs> Sham Balshaman or Baal Samam Aramaic, Bl Shmin translate. Lord of Heavens, was a Semitic sky god in Canaan, Phoenicia and ancient Palmyra. Hence, Sham refers to heaven or sky. Moreover, in Hebrew, Sham Sama is derived from Akkadian Samu meaning sky. For instance, the Hebrew word for the sun is Shemesh, where Shem, Sham, from Shamayim Akkadian, Samu means sky, and Esh Akkadian, Asatu means fire, i.e. sky fire. Other sources indicate that the term etymologically means, land of the left hand, referring to the fact that for someone in the Hejaz facing east, north is to the left so the name of Yemen, Al-Yama and Al-Yaman correspondingly means, the right side. Sham comes from the Semitic root Shin Hamza Mim Shish, M referring to unluckiness, which is traditionally associated with the left, as seen in alternative Arabic spellings such as Sham and Sham. The Sham region is sometimes defined as the area that was dominated by Damascus, long an important regional center. In fact, the word Latin Arabic, al shah am on its own, can refer to the city of Damascus. There is no connection with the name of Shem son of Noah, whose name appears in Arabic as Latin sa am with a different initial consonant and without any internal glottal stop consonant. History Ancient Syria Herodotus uses ancient Greek, Syria to refer to the stretch of land from the Hales River, including Cappadocia the histories, I. 6, in today's Turkey to the Mount Caseus the histories, 2 which Herodotus says is located just south of Lake Serbonus the histories, 3 According to Herodotus' various remarks in different locations, he describes Syria to include the entire stretch of Phoenician coastal line as well as cities such Cadetus Jerusalem the histories 3.159. Hellenistic Syria In Greek usage, Syria and Assyria were used almost interchangeably, but in the Roman Empire, Syria and Assyria came to be used as distinct geographical terms. Syria, in the Roman Empire period referred to, "...those parts of the empire situated between Asia Minor and Egypt," i.e. the Western Levant, while, "...Assyria." was part of the Persian Empire, and only very briefly came under Roman control 116-118 AD, marking the historical peak of Roman expansion. <inaudible> Roman Syria In the Roman era, the term Syria is used to comprise the entire northern Levant and has an uncertain border to the northeast that Pliny the Elder describes as including, from west to east, the kingdom of Commagene, Safine, and Adiabene. 
formerly known as Assyria. Various writers use the term to describe the entire Levant region during this period. The New Testament used the name in this sense on numerous occasions. In 64 BC, Syria became a province of the Roman Empire, following the conquest by Pompey. Roman Syria bordered Judea to the south, Anatolian Greek domains to the north, Phoenicia to the west, and was in constant struggle with Parthians to the east. In 135 AD, Syria Palestina became to incorporate the entire Levant and western Mesopotamia. In 193, the province was divided into Syria proper and Phoenice. Sometime between 330 and 350, likely c. 341, the province of Euphratensis was created out of the territory of Syria Coel and the former realm of Commagene, with Hierapolis as its capital, after c. 415 Syria Coel was further subdivided into Syria I, with the capital remaining at Antioch, and Syria II or Salutaris, with capital at Apamea on the Orontes River. In 528, Justinian I carved out the small coastal province Theodorias out of territory from both provinces. Balad al-Sham The region was annexed to the Rashidun Caliphate after the Muslim victory over the Byzantine Empire at the Battle of Yarmouk, and became known afterwards by its Arabic name, Ash-Sham. During the Umayyad Caliphate, the Sham was divided into five Juns or military districts. They were Jund Damashk Arabic, Ju Nd Dima Shish Q Military District of Damascus, Jund Hims Arabic, Ju Nd Hi M S Jund Falastin Arabic, Ju Nd Fi La Styn Military District of Palestine and Jund Al Ardun Arabic, Ju Nd Alordun Military District of Jordan. Later Jund Kinizran Arabic, Ju Nd Chi Na S Ri N was created out of part of Jund Hims. The city of Damascus was the capital of the Islamic Caliphate, until the rise of the Abbasid Caliphate. Topic Ottoman Syria In the later ages of the Ottoman times, it was divided into wilayas or sub-provinces the borders of which and the choice of cities as seats of government within them varied over time. The vilayas or sub-provinces of Aleppo, Damascus, and Beirut, in addition to the two special districts of Mount Lebanon and Jerusalem. Aleppo consisted of northern modern-day Syria plus parts of southern Turkey, Damascus covered southern Syria and modern-day Jordan, Beirut covered Lebanon and the Syrian coast from the port city of Latakia southward to the Galilee, while Jerusalem consisted of the land south of the Galilee and west of the Jordan River and the Wadi Arabah. Although the region's population was dominated by Sunni Muslims, it also contained sizable populations of Shiite, Alawite, and Ismaili Muslims, Syriac Orthodox, Maronite, Greek Orthodox, Roman Catholics, and Melkite Christians, Mizrahi Jews, and Druzes. Topic Arab Kingdom and French occupation The Occupied Enemy Territory Administration OETA was a military British and French administration over areas of the former Ottoman Empire between 1917-20. During and following World War I it officially ended following the assignment of the French Mandate of Syria and Lebanon and British Mandate for Palestine at the 19-26 April 1920 San Remo Conference. The Arab Kingdom of Syria was the first modern Arab state to come into existence, but only lasted a little over four months the 8th of March to the 24th of July 1920. During its brief existence, the kingdom was led by Sharif Hussein bin Ali's son Faisal bin Hussein. Despite its claims to territory of a greater Syria, Faisal's government controlled a limited area and was dependent on Britain which, along with France, generally opposed the idea of a greater Syria and refused to recognize Faisal as its king. The kingdom surrendered to French forces on 24 July 1920. Following the San Remo Conference and the defeat of King Faisal's short-lived monarchy in Syria at the Battle of Maysalin, the French general Henri Goro, in breach of the conditions of the mandate, subdivided the French mandate of Syria into six states. They were the states of Damascus 1920, Aleppo 1920, Alawite State 1920, Jabal Druze 1921, the autonomous Sanjak of Alexandretta 1921, modern-day Hatay in Turkey, and Greater Lebanon 1920, which later became the modern country of Lebanon. Topic religious significance The region has sites that are significant to Abrahamic religions. Topic see also topic Notes topic References Dictionary of Modern Written Arabic by Hans Weir 4th edition, 1994. Michael Provence, The Great Syrian Revolt and the Rise of Arab Nationalism, University of Texas Press, 2005. Topic further reading Pipes, Daniel 1990. Greater Syria, The History of an Ambition. 
New York, Oxford University Press, v. 240p, IL, with B and W photos and maps. ISBN 978-0-19-506022-5 pbk. Alternative ISBN on back cover, 0-19-506002-4.